Hi folks, Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is in the new ScreenFlow 8, which was released on August 1st, 2018. There are a whole bunch of new features, but today I'm going to show you the new freehand annotation tool. Annotation tools have been around for a long time in ScreenFlow. Those are the tools that you can draw straight lines or rectangles or circles. Well, now there's a freehand tool so you can draw custom shapes however you want. I'm going to show you how to add freehand annotations, how to change the thickness, the size, and change the color. Annotations are simply shape tools in ScreenFlow. To add an annotation, we're going to come over here to the pencil icon and we're going to choose the plus symbol. And you can choose the shape layer that we want. We want to choose the freehand annotation tool that is new in ScreenFlow 8. You can change the color by clicking on this, change the opacity, the thickness. You can do so either before you start drawing or after the fact. Let's do it after just so you can see exactly how this tool works. So once your cursor turns into this little crosshair, you can now just start drawing freehand whatever shapes you want. These are great to add a hand-drawn look to your videos. Notice, if I draw a circle here and then I draw a box or I could do all these things, they're just going to group them together all on one layer. That might be what you want, but you'll see here that you can only change them all at once. So if you want to have individual control over these shapes, you want to make sure that you, each time you add a new shape layer, you add the new plus symbol here. So that way you can have an annotation all on their own layer and you can change and size them however you want. Okay, now let's look at see how to modify or change the elements of an annotation. So I'm going to click on the plus symbol. I'm going to choose the freehand. I'm going to draw a little circle just like that. Okay, if I click off the layer and click back on, you can see I get this bounding box. You should recognize this from any element that you use inside of ScreenFlow. I can change the scale of it like this. I can rotate it. Okay, I can also even add animations. If I want to click the plus action, I can maybe change the scale. And now my little annotation has a little bit of movement to it. So pretty cool. I'm going to delete that. Now, if I want to change the color and all that, you see here that I can't do it when it's like got this bounding box. So what you need to do is just click inside of it. You'll see the bounding box lines go away and it just have these squares around it. When you see just the squares, that means you can change the color, the opacity, the thickness, and add a shadow to it. So over here, I just click on this little box. I can change the color of it just like that. If it doesn't take shape, don't worry about it. It'll change the next time you do anything. So if I change the thickness, you'll see now it takes on that pink. If you want to get fancy and do some illustrations with the freehand annotation tool, you can do so. But my tip for you is to try to keep your cursor down and do it all in one movement if you can. So if I want to do like a hand-drawn arrow, I'm not going to let my cursor off the canvas here. I'm just going to do it all in one stroke. That way it just becomes one shape. It doesn't do it in all individual layers. If I was to move my cursor away and come back, I might get this bounding box. It'll allow me to draw again. But what's going to happen is this is going to be a shape on top of a shape. It's going to be really hard to control it and to change the color so again if you want to do one shape i suggest just keeping it all down on one layer and just do it as one fluid motion as you you'll get better results that way and you'll have more control over the shapes. To add custom shapes, illustrations, or to give your videos a hand-drawn look in ScreenFlow 8, use the new freehand annotation tool. You can get to it by clicking on the pencil icon over here or using the keyboard shortcut Command 7. Click on the plus symbol, click on the squiggly line, change the color, change the opacity, change the thickness, and have some fun with it. My name is Mike Murphy. That is the new freehand annotation tool in ScreenFlow 8. Cheers.